Now a local photographer has come up with an idea that is now raising hundreds of dollars for COVID relief charities, and it all started when she was at home in quarantine. Yes, this is called the Masked Portrait Project, capturing images of people wearing face masks. Our Monica Garcia shows us how she is spreading compassion one click at a time. It's something we've all grown used to seeing people wearing face masks, but instead of taking them as a burden, this photographer wants you to see them through her perspective through the lens. Sometimes all it takes is to be left alone to forge a great idea. For ASU photography student Emily Vance, her idea came during week two of quarantine. That's when I created the Instagram account and the hashtag, um, and it has grown so much just in the past couple months. At the start of the summer, back when face masks weren't mandatory, she started capturing these images, ordinary people doing something she saw as extraordinary. How we all came together at a really, really tough time. And started sharing them online, encouraging other photographers across the U.S. to do the same. 2020 has been just a really rough and trying year for all of us. So I'm hoping that this will show that, yes, it was really hard, but also look at the good and compassion that came from it. From that grew the Mass Portrait Project. Now people who get their pictures taken are given the option to donate to a COVID relief charity like Jenny Irvin. I think that the conversation about wearing masks just turned really ugly. And I love that Emily kind of flipped the conversation and said, you know, this is actually something that's really beautiful. Despite being currently laid off from her job as an event planner, she chose to donate to the Navajo Nation Relief Fund. You're spreading kindness and you're, you're doing something for other people. And I think refocusing that conversation um, is just really cool. Emily hopes one day when all of this is behind Behind us, these images will serve as a reminder of how we survived the pandemic. Capturing each person in the way that they want to be portrayed during this time. And if you'd like to get your picture taken, we'll have a link on our website attached to this story. That's azfamily.com. In Phoenix, I'm Monica Garcia with Arizona's Family.